given the following list of scores, determine the median and the mode. Okay, so the mode is something that repeats the most, which in this case is seven. The median, if we order these numbers, is the number in the middle. But just for fun, I'm gonna do something like graphing calculator so we get better with that. So I'm gonna go to my stat button here. I'm gonna edit my lists. If I have data in the list, I'm gonna use list one over here. I scroll over until I reach list number one. And then it's highlighted up here, I hit clear and enter. Now I have a new fresh list. I'll enter these numbers, five, 12, seven, 15, right? 20, 14, oops, 14, and seven. And what the calculator can do, once I hit second quit, all right, I can analyze that data really quickly. I hit second, stat. There's a math option right here. I can find the median or mean or whatever I want to here. I'll just select choice four for median. And I want to select the median of that list I've just created, which is list one. So press second one. And it's 12, so the median is 12. The teacher decides to adjust these scores by adding three points to each score, explain the effect, if any, this will have on the median and mode. Well, imagine if we added three to everything. The mode, instead of being seven and seven, it would be 10 and 10. So the mode would increase by three. And the same will happen to the median. So the mode increases and the median increases, sorry about this, increases our up by three. The idea being that the whole data shift set is shifting up. So the mode was 12 before, when that shifts up now, it'll be 15. And also the same is true for the mean as well. In fact, these are measures of center, mean, median, and mode. When you shift everything up by three, you also shift those centers up by three.